Welcome to this Bulls update as we welcome in head coach of the undefeated UB women's basketball team, Felicia Leggett. Jack, nice way to start your season so far, isn't it? It's really nice. We have a long way to go, but we're going to enjoy the victories as we go along, and our kids are really working hard. 3-0 and for the first time since 2000 here. Uh, you know, again, getting that momentum going early is always big. All that stuff you've been talking about during the offseason practices and stuff, you've got some evidence of it working. How much does that help you as a coach? It helps tremendously. You know, I ask the kids to buy into the locker room, trying to win in the locker room, making it makes sense. You know, bad energy has to be out of our locker room. And we did some good stuff in the summer, reading books and really, you know, dialoguing about the locker room and, and defense. And, uh uh, they bought into both, and it's good to see it's working. Good road win for your last victory on the road at UMass 56-48. Good UMass team. What did you learn about your team in that one? UMass, just, they're tough. They're t they were very tall. They're 6'2 across the front line. And, and our, I told our young ladies, you know, it's up to us to decide what's important. If we can defend a short person, we can defend a tall person. All we have to do is remember to box out. And they really bought into that. And I, I really commend how Joanna Smith has just been tremendous. Her, her the, the tougher the competition, the more she's rising as our, our, our leader uh, when it comes to scoring and rebounding. I, I just really enjoy seeing her growth. What has she done differently? How has she elevated her game to be coming off a career high 21.9 rebound performance? I just, I, you know, it's so interesting that some people will stay in the background if you don't recognize her. And one thing about Joanne, all I just said is like, the green light is yours. And she always had it inside of her. She went to a state championship, went to a four overtime. Every time they went to overtime, she hit the clutch shot. She had it in her. And she just needed some permission, I guess. And I just love the fact that we said, the ball's on your court, you go ahead and make it happen, and she's making it happen for us. You need somebody like her to score. You also need someone like Stephanie Reed to run the show and be your coach on the court. Talk about what Stephanie's done so far. She just doesn't get rattled, you know. She can handle the ball right-handed or left-handed. Uh, if a foul happens on her end, if something that seems a little quirky on the court, she just smiles and, and just continues to let the game come. And uh, the team feels so much at ease when she's out there because she they know she won't get rattled. Big uh, week for you, along with Thanksgiving. You've got a couple of games and a road trip coming up. Let's start with Wednesday's game uh, here at Alumni Arena at 2 p.m. tip-off against Cornell. What are you expecting out of the Big Red? Cornell always gives us a, a challenge. They are they are smart team. They are shooting team. They have a post player that's really strong. She's she can go equally well left left or right handed. She has a hook shot. She has a jump shot. She can stretch it to 17 feet. She's tough. Their post play is what is their what's their strength. They have a point guard that's pretty tough as well, uh, and, and, a, and a lefty shooty shooter. I'm sorry, shooty lefty shooter. Uh, that's that's tremendous. Their top six is going to be a challenge for us, but we're, we're going to be ready right and then after you celebrate a little thanksgiving you're going to get on a plane and we're all going to be jealous because you're going to take all the gang down to orlando florida playing a tournament at central florida ucf and then clemson um nice that you get to do your own scheduling there isn't it well, it's nice, but you know what? Buffalo's been great. You know, the weather's True, been tremendous right. here, and, you know, I'm an East Coast chick. I scraped a little snow this morning, though. <laughs> I like that. I like a little snow in November. Come on. This is nothing. You know, the as long kids, as it's a little snow yeah. in November, right? Not like last year. Uh, our kids are excited to just connect with each other. And uh, this last road trip showed us that we can be road warriors and certainly like the fact that we're going to go to Florida. But it's more important that we're going together. I like the way we, we're pulling ourselves together. Right. And lastly, Felicia, you've gotten very nice bench scoring and good performances off your bench. We talk so much about the starters and Joanna and Stephanie and all the key players, but but the role players have chipped in as well, too. Where do you see that going? Are you pleased with what those players have been able to do so far? Love Mariah Suchin coming off the bench. And uh, really, she's a really a starter, but we needed the, an extra uh, score to come off the bench. And she's accepted that role. And Corey Courtney Wilkins is really uh, is going to make the defense really have to challenge themselves. Do we go out and guard her three-point shot? She has a quick first step, to, uh, take it two dribbles, and she can pull up and, and hit those kind of shots for us. I just really – and Gabby Bade, she, Bade, she's doing a tremendous job. She went one for eight the last game, but 
One thing I love about that freshman, oh, she's going to shoot it no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, have a good trip. Uh, have a good game on Wednesday. Of course, Wednesday, 2 o'clock here at Alumni Arena as Felicia Leggett Jacks Bulls take on Cornell. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good Thanksgiving, and we'll catch up with you after the road trip. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Very good. Thank you. Go Felicia Leggett Jack, UB Bulls women's basketball coach, the undefeated UB Bulls, and this has been a Bulls Update.